To prove I can make anything sour, I'm going to make an entire industry sour. Hello and welcome to Intoxicated Masculinity. If it's Wednesday, we have a cocktail video coming at you. Um, today we have uh, closed out of our uh, January, but we are never done with gin. Um, today we are entering February, and February is cold. In fact, it is bitterly cold. Um, and since it is bitterly cold, we're going to get bitter. Uh, all February we'll be dealing with bitter cocktails. Uh, I just, I found some interesting cocktails that I couldn't really find a way to fit in anywhere else. So we're going to kind of jam all into February. Um, and they are just kind of under this label of bitter cocktails with very bitter ingredients. Sometimes more than you would think in a, in a single cocktail. Uh, but we're going to start off with the Industry Sour. So the Industry Sour is a cocktail that was invented by Ted Kilgore in 2011. Uh, as far as I understand, it was essentially invented for bartenders to sort of be something to use the two ingredients that oftentimes customers fear the most, which is green chartreuse and uh, Ferna Branca. Um, it is uh, an interesting cocktail. I've, uh, I've been kind of looking forward to doing this one. Um, uh, again, fairly new cocktail, less, about 10 years old, so not much in history. So let's go ahead and put it in a shaker and put it in us. So we've got our ingredients together. Um, we got our, our sort of feared ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I've never really just had Fernet by itself. So we're going to try, stick sometimes. I'm gonna try just a little bit of Fernet, kind of get an idea of the flavor profile of this uh, somewhat feared spirit. The nose is interesting. It's kind of uh, maybe a little bit musty, not not unpleasantly so. Um, like spearmint or or, uh, or uh, yeah, spearmint. I think kind of sharp. Okay, the description of this is, is strange. It is it is very thick. Um, it is sort of like, uh, if you've ever had like constant, like some things that are concentrated, you know, like your, uh, vanilla extract or, or things like that, where they taste good when you put them dispersed into other things, but then you taste them on their own and they taste awful. That's kind of like this. It's sort of, it's, it's sort of spearmint, but very, very concentrated, very thick and with kind of a real bitter kind of, uh, note on, on all around the back and on the inside of the palate. It's, it's a little unpleasant, I'm gonna be honest. Um, definitely not something I would do as a daily sipper or anything like that. Um, but I, th there are definitely interesting flavors there that I think will go well in the cocktail. Um, that being said, let's make the cocktail. So, this is essentially a takeoff on uh, the last word. So we did the last word last month and previous to that we did uh, the paper plane. The paper plane is also a takeoff on the last word. Takeoff, we like puns. Um, so I'm actually not going to do exactly the same thing, it's, or excuse me, I'm not going to do exactly equal parts. I'm going to lighten up on the simple syrup just a tiny bit. But we're going to start off with our Fernet Branca. As with the vast majority of the uh, last word variants, toss them in one ounce. I'm going to go with our simple syrup. So here I'm going to toss in maybe just a little over half an ounce. Sort of a heavy half an ounce there. Then we get our first lime juice. Let me do an ounce of our lime juice. And our last ingredient, which probably deserves a little bit of remarking. So green chartreuse has been going through somewhat of a shortage. Um, I've here in Iowa, we haven't been able to find it anywhere. I was able to secure a second bottle because this one's almost empty. Um, but it has been put on the allocated list, which is always a great thing. It means you know people are now going after it because they think it's going to be worth something or something like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I was told it was actually like a COVID-related supply chain issue, but I'm not sure. So finally, we go with one ounce of our green chartreuse. The color on this cocktail will not be the best color it could come out to be. But we're not worried about color, we're worried about taste. So 
Let's get some ice on our shaker and shake it up. All right. Then pour that in and give it a good shake. So, we're going to double strain that into our chilled cube glass. And as I said, it doesn't come out to be the prettiest color on earth, but we're tasting. That's the important part. Now you have, and by the way, this doesn't call for a garnish. I looked at all the recipes, I couldn't find one that actually called for a garnish. So we are just going to go with this straight up. Your industry sour. It's really interesting. It goes to show, you know, tasting the Fernet by itself, it's got that bitterness and that spearmint kind of flavor, which is just kind of too much. It's a very big kind of flavor for your palate. When you put it in a drink like this, though, it's able to be diluted a little bit, and you actually get the good flavors there. So you're getting a lot of the herbaceousness uh, from your green chartreuse uh, and the, the sort of minty flavor from your fernet and obviously citrus coming through as well. Now for me, I very much stand by doing about a half an ounce of the simple syrup. I think an ounce is gonna be a little bit too much. It's gonna taste a little bit over sweet. If you're somebody that really likes sweet cocktails, go ahead and do that. Again, what you make at home is what you wanna make. And if you like it, then you did it right. Um, but yeah, so our first uh, bitterly cold uh, February cocktail is in the books, the, the Industry Sour. I recommend this. I think it's one that you're, you're not going to think you're going to like until you try it. Um, yeah, it's funny. It's very, it's very bright because you, know, you get your green chartreuse, which is herbaceous, and your citrus, which is sort of the sunny flavors. The bitter part of the fernet is sort of just giving it a nice, just kind of a little tiny bitterness on the outside of the palate. And the spearmint part of the fermet is just mixing in with your other stuff very well. So, yeah, this is a very good cocktail. You, you won't think you're going to like this, but you're going to like this, I swear. I mean, I don't swear. You may be wrong, but I do. Anyway, on that bombshell, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good drink, and have a good day.